<sighs> this is in downtown Moncton. Could you believe that this beautiful waterfront is here in the downtown of the biggest city in the province of New Brunswick. That is gonna be a theme of today's video. We're gonna be showing you some of the interesting things you can do in Moncton for free. I'm here with my good friend Oliver Primer. We're gonna be showing you all around Moncton. Moncton is a city that me and Oliver have spent most of our lives growing up near. We decided we were gonna do a little video about all the things that you can do to experience Moncton without hitting your wallet. Absolutely for free. My name is Noki Travels. Our adventure starts right here in my hometown of Sackville, and I am with my good old travel partner, Oliver Primer. We're just leaving right now, we're going to Moncton, and our first stop is a gas station, because our car is low on gas. Great start to the morning. After the stop for gas and a nice half hour drive up to the city, we finally reached Dieppe and then downtown Moncton, where our first stop of the day would be the Moncton waterfront with a view of the Petticaudiac River that is absolutely for free. So we arrived in downtown Moncton. It's a little bit chilly. It's uh, November 28th? 28th, yep. November 28th today. Moncton city limits, so we're in Dieppe right now. But now I'm in Moncton. I never even realized that. <laughs> so we are in Moncton now officially. This is downtown Moncton. It is very, very, very cold. We're on our way to the waterfront and we're gonna show you guys what the Petticodiac River looks like and how it became famous. So stay tuned for that. So we made it to the waterfront. We could not have asked for better weather. We got the water here, and then we have downtown Moncton over this way. This river kind of stopped Moncton from expanding that way, and over there is Riverview, which is a completely different section of the Moncton metropolitan area, which we will not be exploring today. But if you guys want to see Riverview, there's not much to do over there. Yeah. So, the Petticodiac River, I was starting to explain earlier, became world famous, and I'm gonna tell you why it became world famous. So, as you can tell, this river is very, very muddy. It's brown, it's dark. So, that inspired an author from the Maritimes to write a book series called Chocolate River Rescue, which became a best-selling book across Canada and the world, and made that river right there world renowned, which I think is really cool. What surprised us the most about the waterfront is that the more we walked, the more monuments we discovered, like this one right here, which we had absolutely no idea existed until we experienced this waterfront walk. <laughs> We're both filming shots here. All right, so we are currently walking to the Moncton City Library, but I mean, look at this. This is incredible. This is something I have never experienced in Moncton before. I've been to Moncton probably a hundred times, not even exaggerating, and I've never experienced the waterfront. Go out and explore your own areas. Go see things around you that you've never seen before. So we just stumbled upon this. It's a turtle made from a bunch of junk from the sea. This is something that you can only see off of the waterfront. Like On a main road, you're not able to see this. But because we went along the waterfront and decided to be adventurous today, we got to see this incredible piece of artwork of a sea turtle made from sea junk. That is so cool. When filming this monument, there was something that we didn't realize that we think we should address. Under the monument, there was someone who was using this as their home. Unfortunately, Moncton has a very big homeless population, and I'm gonna let Oliver explain it because he expressed it better than I ever could. There's a pile of garbage there at the bottom, and uh, there's a shopping cart, and it's, it's someone's home. And that's, uh, that's just one of the facts of Moncton. There's a very large homeless population. Affordable housing is a really big problem here. I've been complaining how cold it is here. Uh, it really is cold. Too cold for anyone to be just sitting outside. And uh, yeah, it's, it's sad, but 
it needs to, we need to call attention to that. Had we realized someone was living there, we would not have filmed it, as it is disrespectful to go up and film it as a tourist attraction rather than a home. Now, as awkward as this transition may seem, we have to keep going. This is an area of Moncton that I am very, very more familiar with. This is downtown center Moncton, where you can find any kind of shop you want. You can find big office buildings like this one right here. You can find tiny little shops that make the city a little more cute. And a nice little plaza like this one right here. What more could you want from a city downtown like this? So we've determined that possibly, and very surprisingly, one of the best things you can do for free in Moncton is walk around downtown and do hopscotch on all of these little rocks. We've just arrived at the Moncton Public Library. We are going to get warm. Gonna read maybe? Maybe do some voiceovers for this video. We tried to open the doors. Didn't quite work. And then we came and looked at the sign. Closed on Sundays. Today happens to be a Sunday. Well, let's find something else to do for Moncton that is free. We might have to save this for another day. So when you're in Moncton, you always have the opportunity, remember, to gaze at this amazing structure that's protruding out from the Moncton city center. And that is the Bell Alliant Telephone Tower. and the Maritimes. And there is another thing you can do in Moncton for free. It's say hi to Santa Claus driving a Coke truck. We're at this church. It is an absolutely stunning piece of architecture in the heart of Moncton. And if you look right there, it's the Moncton Monument. So there's a lot of nice things to see in Moncton. Churches being one of them. And we keep on keeping on. So now, Oliver and I are on our way to the Champlain Mall, where we're just gonna sit down, and if we're just sitting down, technically speaking, that is something to do in Moncton for free. The Champlain Mall is the biggest mall in all of New Brunswick, and is one of the biggest malls in all of the Maritimes. That is where we're going now. Champlain Mall is just over there. And that's where we'll be in three, Oh, my hands are so cold, I can't even make fingers. <laughs> Two, one, now. <laughs> it's a much needed food, right? It's not free, so it's necessary. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we kind of did fail the attempt of this video as we did have to spend a little bit of money to feed ourselves. However, we are doing our best to show you guys what you can do in Moncton for free. This is just an essential. So as we sat there feeling defeated that we had lost the challenge, Oliver came up with a brilliant idea. Okay, so we just finished our food, and since Noah and I each blew like over $10 on our food, we need to make up that money somehow, right? So we had an idea, and we're gonna go busking in downtown Moncton. First stop in this adventure is the Toys R Us. And yes, we're going to be buying something. A recorder. Consider it an investment. Let me just preface this. It turns out that finding a recorder is a lot harder than one's thought, as Walmart and Toys R Us do not have it. So, we decided that the next best thing, if not even better, is chapters. And the thing that makes it even better is that while we're looking around at books, we're gonna look for a recorder. So guys, I'm kind of lost. I think we're gonna need to get one of these because I, I really don't know where I am. All right, let's look for that recorder now. Road trip book? I think so. I'm gonna be reading this for a little bit. We didn't plan to come to chapters, but we realized if we did, reading books in this lovely store is something you can do in Moncton absolutely for free. So we did this for the next half hour. <laughs> so 
so I was walking, and I just we were just talking about the failure of our recorder idea. Then we found this. I swear we were literally just talking about this. How we were gonna have to do it another day. I mean, twelve dollars. I mean. We have to. Moncton, you don't know what's coming. Since our recorder idea didn't come to fruition, we have decided to go with the next best thing. This Chapters Indigo Harmonica. And we are gonna go to this downtown Moncton to go busking. Since we bought food and kind of defeats the purpose of spending the day in Moncton while not spending any money, we've kind of got to make a return profit now. I feel like I just unboxed a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be amazing. So I have a song I call Christmas is in the air that goes like... It's beautiful. Thank you. That's a chart topper. <laughs> we, we actually got applause for that. My, my first performance to get that much of a response really means a lot. All right, we are back in the van. We're gonna go to a spot in downtown Moncton. <laughs> he's he's warming up. He's warming up for his big performance later today. We're going to a spot in downtown Moncton. We're gonna go earn the money that we lost today, and Oliver's gonna have a big performance. We have our donation bin. You think that'll be big enough? Uh, from the donations that we're gonna be getting, I'm not sure. Well, if it's mostly bills, I don't know, I'm just worried about them all yeah. flying out. And then we have this. It's incredible. <laughs> How full do you think this would be? Put it down in the comments below. Let us know what you think, how much we're gonna make off. The end of this day, like, oh. It's gonna be so heavy, we're not gonna be able to lift it. They call me Oliver Mraz. There isn't any money in the hat yet. What is the only possible conclusion we can take from that? It's that you're too good for this. I mean, come on guys, give him the exposure he deserves. Yeah. Based on the uh, donations that I've amassed, we feel that it's best that we finish it off on a high note, knowing that the people loved this music, because otherwise, as you saw the sign already, pay to make it stop, then I think we've done quite well for ourselves. I'm gonna do one final performance of my tour, and that is just over there, to the fine pigeons of Moncton. So in all seriousness, I felt a little bit conflicted about doing this. Although it was fun and, you know, there was no harm in doing it, other than maybe to some people's ears. Again, addressing the issue of there are people out on the streets in Moncton and that's partly why we didn't put the sign up, or it is why we didn't put the sign up. We just 
we're in no position to be out on the streets like trying to make money and I know that busking is a serious thing that people do so what we're gonna do now is go over to that really nice Tim Hortons that we walked by earlier in the video and we're gonna pick up a gift card and then just give it to someone out here all right let's go do it yeah as the day was nearing its end me and Oliver decided to go to a Tim Hortons to buy someone a gift card however since it was Sunday that Tim Hortons happened to be closed something we failed to mention before is that during our busking extravaganza there was someone who was living on the streets in the same area that we were so we met up with him we got him some coffee and we didn't film anything just out of respect for him and now to end off the day we're off to the airport to look at some planes airplane and, and now our day is complete our day is complete there is that enough we saw the airplane is that good enough I think, do you okay. need a lollipop still well, I saw the airplane. I don't okay, need perfect. Lot, We're good. Me and Oliver had a wonderful conversation about the day we just had on our drive home. We discussed the waterfront and how gorgeous it was despite how cold it was. We discussed the issue of homelessness and things we can do to try helping people who are going through this tough time. We discussed how Sunday might not have been the best day to go film this. And of course, our small experience with busking. Now we are in a small place called Dorchester and we're going to check out this castle and the train tracks. That's a pretty cool castle. You can look at it for free too. So the cool part about this section is we're on the train tracks right now and the road is just right there. The road is so close to the train tracks. Like, I'm here. Oh, look at that. Train tracks on right here. Doopy 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 doop. And all of a sudden I'm on the road. Like, it's so close. It's unreal. So, I am right here on the train tracks. We're gonna end today's video in the train tracks in Dorchester. We're on our way home. We had an amazing day. A lot of things happened that we didn't expect to happen, but a lot of things happened for good reason. We discovered everything you could do in Moncton, New Brunswick for free. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please consider liking the video. Absolutely subscribe, like the video. Stick around in a little bit and I'm gonna show you the teaser for next week's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Roll it. Next week on Nuki Travels, I'll ask you the question. Does filming trains sound interesting to you? I'm trying to do more train oriented videos. I'll show you one of my longtime passions and why I love doing it so much and how to do it. Find out why I love trains and filming them next week on Noki Trail.